Alright guys, so uh, I am back. Uh, when we last left off, we just left Earth Realm, and now we're going to be moving in to Nether Realm for the first time on Mortal Kombat Deception's Conquest. As you can see, I've got one of uh, the Kamidogu, the Earth Realm Kamidogu. Uh, I believe the next person I'm going to be learning how to fight as is Ashra, who is a demon that um, is trying to ascend from hell by using a sacred sword that she found that purifies her soul every single time she kills a, uh, an evil creature. Super pretty good. So here we are going to Nether Realm, which I always have to avoid calling it Hell, because as a kid I thought they called it Nether Realm, so they didn't use the word Hell, because I thought Hell was a bad word. Sujinko is so obedient. It's really interesting that conversation they just had, had where he discussed um, that only evil can reside in hell, and Sujinko was really upset about that. Um, and the truth of it is uh, that's actually foreshadowing for this. Um, yeah, it's foreshadowing. So as usual, I'm going to follow my compass to my next... Um, this is just a city that's inside of hell. I, I've always presumed there's more cities in, like this that we just don't have access to in this game. Uh, there's Shinnok. He'll give me a, a random task. It, see, like, these random tasks are something that you don't have to do, um, but they just will earn you extra coins. Greetings, mortal. I am Shinnok. I was unjustly imprisoned in this realm many ages ago. I seek a lost amulet. The sorcerer Quan Chi sent word that he had left it somewhere in this city. I will grant you a large sum of coins if you return it to me. So, you know, there's always those little missions. I'm going to go train with uh, Ashra first. I'm going to punch that guy. And just punch me back. I'm going to train with Ashra first, and then uh, I might start looking for the amulet. I don't know. I, may, I might change my mind, too. Um, like I said, you don't have to do the side quest. Only things that you have to do in this game are the things that are marked by the giant glowing light that you see right there. That green light. Everything else is just optional. Uh, that will mark where uh, you need to go in order to further the storyline. I am Shujinko. Pardon my intrusion, but you do not look like a demon of the nether realm. I am Ashra. I was once like the others before I found the means to purge myself of the evil taint that permeates all who reside here. By slaying demons with an enchanted sword, I will gradually transform into a being whom this realm cannot contain. Eventually, I will be free. And how is it you exist in this place? You do not seem to belong here yourself. I am from Earth Realm. I see. Be warned, Shujinko. The Nether Realm is quite hostile to outsiders. If you are to survive against its denizens, you will need special skills. I offer to train you in the art of combat that will be most effective here. I accept your most gracious offer, Ashra. Then let your training begin. <sighs> Ashra is a really fun character in this game new to the Mortal Kombat series as far as this game is concerned. Um, pretty original character, even though she kind of looks like a female Raiden. Like, I think her actual abilities, other than her headbutt thing, um, are all pretty original. Good work. 
There we go. I just had to say it out loud and admit that I wasn't doing that good. That's all that was. There's a certain pacing that you need to do the um, combos in this game. And the pacing is considerably slower than in Mortal Kombat 3. Pop-ups are really important in this game, so a good thing is when you're playing through conquest mode to take the time and, and notice what are the combos that are resulting in a pop-up. Now the Chris is a uh, really badass Kali weapon. Uh, most time when people say Chris, they're talking about a little knife, but this giant sword she's holding is an uh, actual uh, weapon from the art of Kali, which is just, it's sick because it's, it's wiggly like that, it hits like, da -da -da -da, it hits multiple times and creates an uneven cut so it's harder to heal. Good work. And it just looks badass too. I'd love to have a nice Chris. One big thing when you're working uh, through the Conquest um, tutorial parts, uh, you want to make sure that you give time for the damage to reset. Basically, there's damage scaling in this game, and you have to understand that if you do a combo and then immediately go into another, another combo, and the computer reads that it's one combo, you won't complete that mission. So lots of times, like you saw there, I hit her with the right combination, but I didn't recognize it because I did it so tightly. I did it so closely to my last one. So you need to take the time is what I'm getting at. Do the style branching combos. They're the ones that make you feel like a real boss in this game. special moves. No, I don't use that one very often. I need to look into it. That one's a great move, but it's got a really short range, as you can see.
I like how they only make you do the one that shoots up in the air and comes down once, because it's more difficult to do um, with a moving opponent. The makes the idea is that you use that against somebody who's really stationary. So now I just have to fight her. I have now shown you the techniques for fighting the demons of this place, Shujinko. May this knowledge serve you well. Thank you, Ashra. I believe I am ready to brave the depths of the Netherrealm. Perhaps a test is in order. Meet me at the temple outside of town. I will find you a suitable opponent. We will see if you have indeed learned all I have taught you. I look forward to this chance to test myself. She's a very fast runner. Um... We got like two, three, four, like about two more minutes uh, left in this video, so that's not enough time to squeeze in the test. So coming up next is going to be the. Um, so I'm just gonna walk around in Nether Realms place and look around, collect coins and stuff. But coming up next is uh, the first time in Conquest you actually have to fight um, using a character other than Sujinko. Um, like she said, it's your test. It's to test your abilities. Um, so the idea is that you're playing as one character. Um, gotta stop saying um, huh? Is that you're playing as a character, and you have to use her abilities in order to, I guess, test them. It's just a way to break up the general monotony of always, you know, I go to a character, I learn their, their special way of fighting go to another character and learn their special way of fighting. Um, this is still a glorified tutorial, but at the end of the day, I much prefer a tutorial be this way than uh, any other way. I'm going to talk to this guy. Now, everybody in hell kind of talks backwards. I don't know if they really are talking backwards. Maybe I'll include that in the um, video or something, or at least I'll... Oh, God. I wanted to talk to him. But they all sound like they're talking backwards. Most of them. Watch this guy now. Shakan's assassin, Ermac, has been, and it's going too fast for me to read out loud. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you guys read that. So I'm not sure where Quan Chi's amulet is offhand. Which is another problem with the Mortal Kombat Deception strategy guide that I was talking about. Is it's this kind of stuff that I wanted the strategy guide to tell me about. I mean, I could figure out their moves. That's not hard. I wanted fatalities. And I wanted conquest. I wanted to... You know, kind of have a little cheat book so that I could quickly figure out where um, where different things were. Well, it looks like our time is up for today, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the game. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow where we are going to go do Ashra's test, uh, so it should be pretty good. See you guys around.